All right, so it's been a minute since I've done a reaction to Mighty Keith and his videos. I really enjoyed doing the reaction I did last time for him, and so we're back with a brand new one that he put out a few days ago where he's doing a skit on Sony increasing the price tags on the PlayStation 5s that just recently broke a few days ago. I remember hearing about that and seeing it increase in different parts of the world, but it doesn't increase here because I know damn well if it increased here, then I know a lot of people would catch a fit. But we're going to check out this skit from Mighty Keith and and yeah, let's get straight to it. I am Mighty Key. Green bag, sir. Thank you for shopping at Target. Hope your day is pleasant. Yes! Mm. Yes! Here are your yes. bags, ma'am. Thank you for shopping at Target. Hope the rest of your day is, uh, good. Hey, I'm here for it. You're here for what, sir? Oh, the PS5. I got a notification on my phone that you guys have it in stock. Huh. Yeah. One second. You guys, well, if you're ready. All right, got you right here, buddy. Here you go. So this card is coming back declined. What? No, it can't be. Sorry, but I've tried it multiple times. Do you have another card? No, I, I get paid next week, but I, I made sure to have enough on that card. It's, it's $550 for a PS5, right? Sorry, but Sony recently raised the price of the PS5. Wait, what? Yes, sir, they implemented a broke nigga leave rule. If you're broke nigga, leave. <laughs> That's the rule. Oh, wow. Oh my God, mm. this can't be happening. Hey, look, man, can, can you hold the, the PS5 just for a few more days? I, I promise, I, I'm going to get the funds in like a few oh, days. Man, that's crazy. I got the funds right here. Sold. Oh, <laughs> come on. I waited so long. It's over, buddy. I'm sorry. Go home. Take care of your kids. I don't have kids. Take care of your family. I don't have a family. Well, you got to take care of something because you're not going to be taking care of the PS5. Oh, no. <laughs> Sony just got sued for six billion dollars. Oh yeah. And y'all gonna be the ones paying for it. I didn't hear about that. I did hear about it. Oh that my too. god. Are you sure you don't have any left in the back? Oh bro, let me go check real quick. No. no you didn't really check. That's crazy. First you couldn't get the PS5 because of box and scout. This motherfucker just looked around and turned back. Like what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry, I had to pause it for a second. That's why I turned around, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh, bro, let me go check real quick. No. no you didn't really check. That's crazy. First, you couldn't get the PS5 because of bots and scalpers. Now you can't get the PS5 because of Sony. <laughs> so what do I do now? You do whatever you want, except get that PS5. Bro, what the? Look on the bright side. Sony's kind of saving you some money here. Instead of paying $500 for the PS5, you're not going to be paying anything at all. Because your ass ain't getting it. <laughs> bro, that didn't help. <laughs> the life of a console gamer, bro. I'd say go to PC, but getting some of these cards are just as hard. Serious, leave. <laughs> we got some Xboxes you're in the back if you want them. I mean, this is a bad game. Two years. Damn. Two years. That's all. <laughs> I hope God of War Ragnarok is worth all this heartache. Better luck next year. Boy, that's wow. just crazy. Oh man, that is too funny. Yeah, I know, I know that really has to suck right now. <laughs> that has to suck right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is too funny. Yeah, so we just checked out Mighty Key's video on just the reaction of people. Um, you know, how people probably felt when the PS5 was increased by Sony. And I also forgot when he brought up the point that they're getting sued by... Um, that amount of money, like billions and billions of dollars. I totally forgot because I did see an article and stuff online talking about that and it really does suck because now it's like, you know, scalpers, bots, just like you said, scalpers and bots were pretty much taking the shit from people that was trying to get it and now Sony's hiking up the prices in different areas to the point where now it's going to be hard to try to get it, not by trying to find it, but also trying to buy it. And it's pretty crazy. That that's happening because um, 
you know, there's certain games that are now just going to be exclusively on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X, which kind of stems a little bit to what the video I did, um, I want to say it was like a month or two back, which was the Gotham Knights trailer, where I saw that they had put, that they only had the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X versions ready to release, and they decided to scrap the PlayStation 4 and Xbox, um, one version and stuff which sucked because i was like damn i really want to play the game but unfortunately i can't because i don't have a current gen console at this very moment so i'm kind of like at the point where it's like i'm not gonna react the same exact way how keith demonstrated in this video where other people were like fuck like i can't get it because the price is now hyped up and shit i'm not even really worried about that if i get one i get one like i'm not gonna sweat it because eventually i will get a current gen console i just don't know when because there was even points where i was even thinking like man like i'm thinking about getting a fucking xbox series s because you know i remember checking on gamestop and seeing that there are some available online that you can buy but the playstation 5 still no go like once you go on there it is not available at all unless you catch it on a good day to where it is available and you gotta be quick on it it's not available so it just still sucks that we're still at this point where people still can't get PlayStation 5s. I'm one of them, but I'm not really trying to go out there and try to fight for it like that because eventually I will get it. I just don't know when. So we'll just pretty much have to see. But I do like the whole spin around where the guy where the guy was telling the guy, like, hey, do you got something in the back? Oh, yeah, sure. He's like, nope. <laughs> I was like, yo, that is too fucking funny. This is why I like Mighty Keith. I'm definitely going to be trying to make sure I keep up to date with more of his reactions, whether it's stuff that I do know or don't know. And so, once again, shout out to you, Mighty Keith. Shout out to you and everybody in the Keith crew. And keep up the good work and everything. And I hope everything is good with you on your end. But what did you guys think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And if you did, what was your favorite part about the video? Or what videos do you like of Mighty Keith? He has a slew of them. If you haven't checked it out, go check the guy out. He's definitely great. Great content, great skits, funny guy. Go check him out. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Pretty to Speed. I'll see you guys next time. Later.